Hi guys, it's Sarah. I hope you all had a wonderful uh, Christmas and um, holiday weekend. Uh, it has been crazy busy here um, with family and kitty and everything, but uh, some good news is Moo seems to be somewhat stable right now. We're still doing some more tests. Um, but uh, it looks like he might have like a stage four heart murmur and uh, some intestinal issues. So we're getting through that one, um, one day at a time. Uh, but thank you for all the well wishes for those that knew. And I really want to give a huge shout out and thank you to Mousy Art Studio. Lee and Jeremy were amazing. Um, I had uh, talked to them the morning that I was going to be pouring 11 Pipers piping and I had to rush Moo to the emergency room according to his vet. Um, so they uh, totally picked up what I was gonna be doing and just completely nailed it. And they did amazing job with 11 Pipers piping and I couldn't be more appreciative. Love them, they're amazing. So today I'm working on an 18 by 18 inch canvas. Um, it's not a gallery wrap uh, wide, uh, Sorry, deep edge canvas. It's just a regular gallery wrap canvas, and I've sprayed and ta uh, sprayed the back of it, taped off the uh, uh, wood edges on the back, and we are going to be working with a color palette of six colors and a white. I'm using DecoArt's 24K Gold, DecoArt Extreme Sheen Peridot. I have Nickel Azo Gold by Golden, Deep Turquoise by Liquitex. I have manganese blue by Liquitex, and I also have Prussian blue by Golden. So this is my color palette that I'm gonna be working with mainly. And then I have my usual suspect of Artist Loft white acrylic paint mixed two to one with uh, Floetrol, and then a few scoops of satin enamel then put in. So it leaves somewhat of a trace as it drizzles off of the stir stick. All right, I do have a bit of a cold. I'm actually working through it. Uh, it was a lot worse the week before Christmas, but I do apologize if I sniffle and sound a little hoarse. This is also a reason why I haven't been able to get into the studio for the last couple of days, because I've been trying to fix that. <laughs> so we are going to start with um, maybe a little bit of the manganese at the bottom of the cup. I know it's a little bit different than I usually do. And then I'm gonna come in with a little drizzle of the gold and follow up with white. And that's an awful lot of weight. I don't know what I was doing there. Um, and I'm gonna come in with the deep turquoise, the Prussian blue, Back in with manganese and the peridot. It's a lovely metallic and then the gold, the nicolazzo. Some of the peridot. If I keep talking, I'm gonna get really, really dry throat and have a coughing fit. So uh, I'm very sorry for being so quiet. 
and top it off with some deep turquoise and so we're good. Okay, so here is my cup. And I'm gonna lay down some white here. I'm gonna move it around a bit because I think I saw a little bumpy in there. Yes, there's a couple here. I wasn't gonna wreck it, but as I was pouring it um, into the puddle, I recall that there was a lot of white at the bottom and I don't want the center to all be white. So I'm certainly gonna mess it up a little bit with a wrecked pour. Maybe, we'll see. All right, we're gonna move all this off. I do not like this area at all. I'm loving what's going on in here. One more torch and then we're gonna move it along. We're not gonna go over the edge. We're actually just gonna come back. Because I sort of like those edges and I don't like what's over here. So I'm gonna work the corners, but 
not fully go over. Oh, I love this. So, I can't really, oh yeah, I, I'm, this piece is beautiful. Oh, I can't wait to bring you guys in. So this is very um, deco style. It's just, it's beautiful. I cannot believe what I've got going on in here, this area is just gorgeous with the nickel azo gold in here. And then this, I, I can't wait to bring you guys in. So let me just fix this corner and uh, I'll get you guys down and you guys can see what exactly I'm seeing um, and go from there. So just bear with me for one sec. Okay, so here it is and oh, I love, 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 love this. So super beautiful with a bunch of details. I think I want to try and make another one. And uh, we'll put that up as a video also. We'll see how similar I can get them to look. So this was the end result. And uh, couldn't be more happier. Okay guys, how are you today? Um, we're working with another 18 by 18 inch canvas. I really like these. Uh, I'm gonna layer my cup. My uh, colors are, um, uh, sorry, <laughs> turquoise deep or dark. I have nickel azo gold, manganese blue hue, Prussian blue, 24K gold, and Deco Art Extreme Sheen's Peridot. And we're gonna layer up this cup and do a straight pour and then we're gonna wreck it um, and see how it comes out. I did one the other day and it was super pretty and I'm hoping to be able to create another one, similar style, uh, pardon me, um, and go from there. So we're gonna start with the manganese, which doesn't really want to stay down there. And then a little bit of Prussian blue. I'm gonna come in with some gold. A little too much there. And a little bit of white. I'm gonna come in deep turquoise. Parado. Let's do a smidge of the gold. 
and then Nickel Azo, Prussian Blue, some white, Peridot, Manganese, We're moving on to the second cup of white. This one's definitely gonna be a little bit different as I layered my colors a bit different. Get the rest of the peridot in there. And maybe this time we'll do a wandering Straight pour or ring pour. Or maybe we'll just do the straight pour and see how similar <laughs> decisions. Um, how close? I'm not sure yet. It depends on how I feel. Not worried with getting any paint on the canvas. A real full cup. All right, so secure. It's totally leaking out of the side. I put it on a bump. There we go. Maybe we will do a traveling pour and then maybe a pour around it. I'm not sure, but let's get a going. love the center so this is okay um just wanted to do a little bit something different what i'm gonna do is wreck it as we go i'm just gonna bring it back this way a smidge Love this. This is gorgeous. This really is just lost paint, which is fine. I'm 
I'm gonna be a little fearless with my wrecking, so. If you see it go far away and get all twirly-whirly, don't get nervous, it's okay, it's just paint. But I do love this area over here. So I want to bring in a little more nickel azo in there. Really make this area beautiful. Okay, so as I watch this move around, which is fine, I really know basically what I want to salvage, what I don't need. I mean, there's enough paint on here and purposely done that way so that I can keep a composition that I like Um, let's see, we're gonna come to this corner over here. And off that edge, because I love this corner up here. We're gonna leave it resting for a sec. Now we're gonna come down to that corner. Okay, I wish, uh, well, I hope you guys can see this. So, oh my God, this is so beautiful. Okay, I think I'm done. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I am. I love this, yay. Definitely a different approach with the uh, wandering straight pour and then bringing it back for the center ring pour. But I can't even, this, this stuff is just so beautiful in here. I'm so excited to show you guys. So let me bring you in. All right. I mean, look at this. This is just so cool. I am really, really loving it, and I'm certainly going to give it a go again. I don't like the nickel azo here, so I'm certainly going to use some of what's on the table to fix that up, but this is just amazing. Look at that area. And then I'm gonna come around on the other side so you guys can see this area, but this is just beautiful. All right, so uh, just bear with me for one second. All right, so here we are, but look. So this is what I was seeing, like, oops, I'll use the stick to show you, but look at all of this. Look at those little lines. I love that detail there. And it's like a hazy gold 
over that um, manganese and it is so beautiful. All this detail with lines and come over here. I feel like I'm gonna drop the phone and I certainly don't wanna do that. This, this area here is just amazing also. Yay. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. All right. I mean, look at this. This is just so cool. I am really, really loving it. And I'm certainly going to give it a go again. I don't like the nickel azo here. So I'm certainly going to use some of what's on the table to fix that up. But this is just amazing. Look at that area. And then I'm going to come around on the other side so you guys can see this area, but this is just beautiful. All right, so uh, just bear with me for one second. All right, so here we are, but look. So this is what I was seeing. Like, oops, I'll use the stick to show you, but look at all of this look at those little lines i love that detail there and it's like a hazy gold over that um manganese and it is so beautiful all this detail with lines and come over here I feel like I'm gonna drop the phone and I certainly don't wanna do that. This, this area here is just amazing also. Yay. All right guys, thanks so much for watching. Bye. Okay guys, hello. So here is the dried results of this piece. And uh, don't mind the stuff in the background. This turned out really, really freaking cool. And I'm super happy. I am definitely thinking about varnishing this, but this area in here is by far my favorite. Um, and then all of the variegated lines in here. Amazing. Uh, so, yep, so there's the dried results of that one. And then over here, this one is still drying. Um, the other one was actually directly underneath the uh, heat. Uh. All right, so this one is still drying. Um, the other one was still on the table and it was underneath the heat vent. So it dried really nicely. This one isn't near the heat vent, but this is a little dark looking. It's actually quite vibrant and I can't wait to uh, hang them up on the wall so you guys can see how that went. All right, thanks for watching today's video, guys. You have a wonderful day, much love, and thank you, thank you to all of you who have uh, supported me in one way or another over the course of 2021. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Have a great day.